GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zila, and we are here today doing the Swamp Start Scenario. Yeah, I know we said I was going to go up into space, but I was still doing some exploring first and stuff. And I came across this funky smuggler's barge. Most of them are all just wrecks with, like, pieces strewn about. This one... Looks like it's intact with a whole bunch of cargo. I haven't seen this one yet, so let's check it out. So it is below us here. Let's lower down. Oops. Lady camera. I hate it how it does that sometimes. It'll just flip. It just flips around. Back up a bit here. Okay, let's check this thing out. Oh, come on, really? Oh. Stop it. That's pretty cool. It's really wide. Huh. Wait, there's something in there. I can't see. It's, the it's on the ground there. Or is that just the oxygen? Uh, I can't tell. There's, I don't know something inside this, so there's the core. Should we just shoot down, blow up the core, and then we can just loot it with the drone? Let's do that. So it's right in front of the antenna corner there. The antennas, and then the front sled part. Yeah, let's do that. Because we can't do anything. We can't get into it other than jumping out of the plane. I don't feel like doing that. So, that was the corner. Right there, right? That's it right there. Can we shoot through the... Can we actually shoot? Yep. Oh, It destroys everything. Okay, well, let's quickly collect it, right? Oops, whoa. Yeah, let's not do that. Come on. Have a... So, climb into their uh, <laughs> ship with us. That would be uncool. Okay, let's quickly loot all this. And I have my inventory half full. Not cool. It looks like a lot of ammo. It's okay, ammo is pretty expensive. Stacking, okay. That looks like we got all the containers that dropped. Huh. So that was just booby trapped to blow up then because of the, the fuel tank right beside it. Okay, well, there wasn't much you can do about it because if you blow up the... Oh well. Oh well. Wow, it really took it out really bad. <laughs> like, completely devastated it. That was interesting. I wonder if there's anything else to this. Kind of boring. Moving on. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not as exciting as I'd hoped. Yeah. 
Okay, this is something more interesting, I think. Let's level off here, take a look, whoops. So the radar station, uh, it's a nice clear day. I think this is probably, we've got a, a little bit of time right now. We can see the, the fortifications, see that? It's so clear, oops, that other POI disappeared. But that's okay, I can see the fortifications. And I think we want to go after the fortifications, don't we? So there's three of them. We're going to come at this one on an angle then to get as much maximum distance as possible. Let's switch to our rockets and we're going to try and we're going to try and take on this uh we've got 340 range of 340 oh it's a rocket launcher gosh darn whoo it's a guided missile launcher so we gotta we gotta suss out the damage we just took a face shot by a guided missile. Ooh, I don't want to go out of the atmosphere. Thank you very much. Come back down, come back, come back, come back. Let's just head over here. We got a, we got a solid barrage though of four rockets. We might have killed it, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So let's just level off. I want to see just in here alone if we took so our weapons nothing else except for we didn't even what okay so that means we took block damage let's take a look oh yeah look at that wham took out a block if we get hit there one more time it's gonna take out a whole bunch of blocks and expose more of the you know what one block not bad for a guided missile do we have any on us let's see what we can do here hmm. can we make any we might have to just make regular ones Oh, hardens. Look at that. Woohoo. Okay. Let's put this stuff away while we're in it, right? All this ammo. We'll throw the rest in the constructor. Okay. So. Let's fix this up. <laughs> Quick repairs on the fly, right? Uh, okay, and then it looks like that's the only block we lost. Not bad, not bad. So we took the one hit to the side, okay. Not bad. Let's repair all this up then. I'm surprised it didn't actually hit one of the thrusters. I guess it was aiming for that and it hit the block right beside it because I I moved, right? Like even, even guided missiles can miss their mark if something else at the last second gets in the way. It'll hit what gets in the way. So, and what got in the way was another block technically, because I, I angled in such a way that it probably hit the block instead of the thruster at the point of impact. So that's all that is. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I don't see any more damage. Okay. So we're back. We're back in business here. We only lost one block and we're all repaired up. Okay. Well, we can go... Uh, Let's go suss it out. Let's see if we actually did any damage to this thing. 
I mean, we do have to do the Robson Protocol, and I do have medium armor now, right? So I, I wasn't going to do it before in light armor, for sure. Medium? Mm, still a little... I want to go up to space and see if we can buy some heavy armor. We've got a couple of mediums to trade in. And if we do, then we'll come back down. Okay, so... Let's... Let's come in. Because that's shot regardless of what angle we were at. 40? No, I did take it out. Okay, good. Let's take these guys out. 289. Whenever I'm saying a number, I'm looking at my range for that weapon. Okay. So... Damn, rocket launchers. Oh, guided missile fortifications. That's just nasty. It's a guarantee. You can't avoid it. Something on your ship. If it shoots at you, the only way that you can avoid it is backing away till it gets out of range. And I've done that quite a few times. But, And I guess we could try that. Let's try that with this one. Okay, so switch to the 340. Now, what I should have is plasma cannons to do this with, because I wouldn't get nuked by the atmospheric density. And right now, my the atmospheric density is killing the range on my weapon. So let's let's come in really fast. 340. And, oh, did I nuke it without it actually hitting me back? Was it not ready for me? Okay, you, on the other hand, can go away. Okay, so that fortification is now neutralized. The other one still has... So the comma ray. So this one over here, and let's take care of him. And then we've pretty much cleaned up the defenses for the radar station. Which I wasn't really planning on doing today, but hey. You know what? Well, in the neighborhood. Okay, so we know... The only way to avoid it is is uh, range. So unfortunately, I don't think we can get out of range before it launches and we can shoot. But we're going to try. So we're going to come in real. Oh, it already shot? Twice. Ooh, see that? I got out of range of that one. Okay, I heard something blow up. Let's... I didn't get a shot in. So, it definitely has way better range than I do. I gotta come in hard. I gotta come in real hard. Okay, so, we still got all our weapons. It's showing all our weapons, so that's good. Hmm. Okay, so let's level off. Figure out what blew up, because I heard crap blow up. Nothing showing damage? That doesn't make any sense. Was it just blocks that got hit? Yeah, let's fill up so I don't forget that. <laughs> while we're while we're here, so it's showing damage, obviously. I mean we heard an explosion. Let's figure out what that was. Oh Okay. So we took one right oh wow we took a we took a thruster loss too look at that the lights the thruster holy crap Whew. I don't know if I want to go after that thing in that current state do we shit that really hurt so we got one we can't 
we we're gonna get one more face shot we're gonna get one more face shot and we're gonna lose parts and we have to make it count damn um can i make the i don't think i can make that thruster here that's too complicated for this isn't it HV? That doesn't make any sense. SV. Can't do the, uh, yeah, can't do the jet thruster. I could put one of these in temporary. Let's do that. <laughs> it's better than nothing. Ah, uh, my food spoiled on me. I forgot to put it in the fridge. That was derpy. So I guess what's going on then is I have no food on me. Oh no, I got a ton of food. Eh. Okay. Let's put this in. We need more lights, but in the meantime, I'm just going to put blocks there. Although the, the sun is going down. Uh, let's hurry up with this then. Come on. Okay. Let's just put a couple blocks here for now. Stop that. Do this one. Good enough. Actually, good enough. Let's just... Let's just go kill this thing before the light goes away and we can't. Okay, so which one was it? It was that one, that one, and this one. So this is it. So we got to come in fast and hard. 340, 340, 340. 340. And I killed it. Oh, crap, I didn't! I got it. And it hurt me. Uh, okay, let's go see what happened. Oh, look at my thrusters disappearing. Still sealed. Look at that, two face hits. And I'm still flying. And I've still got all my weapons because they're on the wings. So let's see what happened here. I think I, I neutralized it, but wow. Okay, so... <laughs> the new thruster I put in there survived. Whoa, holy crap. So I lost a ton of thrusters. I lost one two, three, four, five, six of the jet thrusters. Six jet thrusters. I lost my Gatling gun. So I lost a Gatling gun. Uh, I lost three lights and a couple of blocks. Wow, that was epic. That hurt. Holy crap. Well, at least this thing's dead now, right? Where is it? Alien watchtower. Yeah, this thing's just limping now. Uh, I can, it won't really go backwards very well. Let's head back to base. It did its job. I don't think I can do a T2. Did I even save the template? Did I derp and not save the template? Nope. Crap. Okay. Well, that was stupid. It's okay. I don't have a repair 
a T2 repair bay anyway. So we'll just repair the blocks the way they are and replace the ones that got destroyed. Well, that was very costly. That six, six of those thrusters, I'm not sure if I can replace those. That's a lot of cobalt, although I looted more. So we'll see. That was very expensive, but I didn't die. She took two guided missiles to the face and I was still flying away. So that's not bad. She's limping though. She's limping. I don't think she got shot in the knee though. I think we can bring her back to full. And uh, she'll be able to adventure again. Okay, so I will meet you back at base. Okay, uh, look at the damage now that we're back at base. It's kind of horrible. It's just tragic. She got popped real hard in the side of the head there. Twice by missiles. Whew. Okay, so let's remove this smaller one. And then we'll repair. Got it running right now because I got stuff in the fridge. Actually, what I should do is put all this stuff. I was in the middle of transferring a bunch of stuff here. Let's just do that. So that we can start making the thrusters. Because I did have... So I do have enough cobalt. That's going to be okay. We're okay. <sighs> So I had lost six thrusters. That's just devastating. Jet thruster one by three by one. Okay. So let's repair up the rest of it here. She took a real, real beat. But she did the job, and she got me back home safe. Um, and that's really what matters in the end, right? So, I mean, that's tough, taking, taking guiding, guided missiles to the face. Not a lot of ships can take that, let alone twice and still have what it takes to fly away. So I'm really happy with how she performed there. She's actually really balanced uh, to fly her. I'm gonna put some more RCS in, a couple more, but actually I think I might've got some blown up. So we're gonna make four more and we're gonna take a look to see how that We'll start putting some more RCS in until she's just a little bit more responsive in the turning times. She's not quite responsive enough for me. Okay. I guess I, I could build a regular repair bay and probably do this a little quicker with just a regular repair bay but that's okay we'll get this time around we'll do it by hand we'll get it uh, saved to template or we'll paint it we'll save it to template and then I guess we'll call it an episode wasn't going to space I know sorry <laughs> But it had, it had some action to it, that's for sure, eh? Okay. Okay, I don't see any more damage. See any more damage. Oh, that one was. 
was. So there is inside. Can we get the drone inside here? No. Okay. But we can kind of see back there. Okay. Okay. See, I think we lost some RCS up in there. Yeah. Yeah, crap, okay. See, now I don't know how the balancing is because I, I can't see this side. That's really disappointing. I should have saved a template. I really should have saved a template. I mean, I guess I could pop that thruster out and take a look. Let's do that. got there. Stop it, drone. God. It is it just drifts forever after you just touch it slightly. Uh, okay, so there is nothing up to the other thruster spot. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Trade room here. Trade, trade you. Okay, and then oh, we we want to rotate that that way, like that. Okay, and then we'll turn that off. Okay. Okay, so the other thrusters should be ready by now. Let's get these ones in. So this is facing up. We might as well do those right now. Spin that. That. Okay. And then just rotated like that. Come on, get that. Come on. Boy. Ah, really? Oh. Come on. Right. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> twitchiness. The twitchiness. Okay. It's the only drawback with building with the drone is it's way more twitchy than than not using it. Okay, so we want that to the top. that. Okay, so that's the up, down, and side ones replaced. Let's just we can turn those off really quick. And then the front ones. Should have three left. And nope, that's the wrong way. All right. No, nope, that's the right way. That is the right way. Okay. So one, two, oh. Position this one. Should have threw it on the stack before. That's okay. Oops. No, no, no. Go back. Spin around. There you go. And in. Okay. So that is the 
throw. Oh, Gatling gun. Right, it blew up a Gatling gun. SVHV, yep, okay. And I guess I can throw that in the deconstructor. Okay, so also the lights, headlights, we need all five again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. far was that sticking out? That is touching the other thruster. Okay. Okay. And then we'll take this block out. Got some damage to him. We haven't repaired those yet, so let's do that. Okay. Okay. And then we'll get the corner piece in here. And then what's left? Just the, just that, okay. So let's get those. Oh, right, one of them didn't destroy, so I, I'll have an extra one. That's fine. That's fine. I'm sure many more will get destroyed along the way here. Oops. That way, this way. Thank you. And voila. Okay, I think she is back to ship shape. I think she's back to ship shape. I don't see any visibly damaged blocks, any dented ones now, so... Good. Well, what about the one directly in front of me? Or was that just an illusion? That's just an illusion. So let's see, 99%. So uh, that's okay, we're gonna save the template. Oh, you know what, let's paint it first, let's paint it, right? Let's turn this off. We'll grab the, oh, I, got, I gotta regroup everything. Everything should have kept its grouping switches, the shortcuts for the groups, yep. I'm glad that they fixed that, because that was annoying. Okay. Um, so we can go like that, and that will shut everything off. Well, that's interesting. Do that without it powered on. Nice. Okay. And let's get the stuff out of the fridge before it spoils. Not that one. That one. Okay, and we'll just put that in the food processor for now. And right there. I don't have a fridge yet. I'm going to have to get one though pretty soon because the cooked food is starting to take up unnecessary space. I can put all those sprouts into like a gar I, I got to start adding some more cargo boxes and starting to get that organized. We're starting to get a little bit B 
beyond just a little basement base, we're going to have to start expanding out. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to expand out. But in the meantime, let's get this painted. Let's do the paint job here. Where did I put that? Not there. Not there. Not there. <laughs> and, huh. What the heck? Where did I put my tools? Oh, did I put them on the ship? Maybe I put them on the ship. There. Yeah, I gotta clean all the cargo up. Oh yeah, there they are. Okay, there we go. They were on the ship. Okay. So. How should we do this? Let's, um. Do we want any emissives? Do we want like just the default? Instead of the white. And then paint that black. Well, I guess like we could just paint the whole thing black and take a look. I don't know. I'm. Hmm. It's a little weird. It's an emissive. It might kind of look cool along the side there. Let's turn this on. Let's turn this on. That way we'll get to see what the emissive looks like after we paint it and stuff. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Make it look like a scrap yard flyer. It looks better than a scrapyard flyer. I don't know. I think we should do something better. It's not bad. I mean, it's better than its natural look, but it's it's not what I'm going for. Ugh. kind of cool. Oh, yeah, the wings take it, too, don't they? How does it work on the angle, so? Textures never work properly on the angles. We could do something different on the angles. We, maybe we'll do the emissive on the angles. I actually don't mind that. That's kind of... And then, okay, so... Really? It, 
doesn't take color. Oh yes, it does. Well, the, so, oh, yeah, it's because it has no color. That's, ooh. I actually kind of like that. I've never really used that one before. I, that looks kind of cool. We could do that on the sides. Do that for the trim, maybe? Or should we do the whole undercarriage like that? No, I think we'll do the sides like that. So that's our side trim and wings. So that'll be the side trim and wings. Yeah, I really, I like that. Okay, so let's, let's get this. And then we should probably do the symmetry plane. It's just that. Really? Oh! The sides of the. Oh, but they don't. You can't rotate them. They go the opposite direction of what I want. Oh. kind of cool that you can put uh, texture on the weapons now though see that the whole thing takes it uh, it's not the right texture for them though That's pretty cool, though, for them. I like that. That looks like some sort of weaponry. And then, what's that like painted? Ooh, that's kind of cool, too. Hmm. That's the only direction that'll go to, right? See that? See, they don't match the same direction. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. I do like that too, though. You know, if we did this, so if we changed it, Come on, really? What, what are you changing if you're making the noise? You're not doing anything. Oh, is that an emissive? It's got an emissive in it? Is that really an emissive? It is. It's an emissive texture. Oh, how fucking... How how cool is that? Okay, let's let's continue. I never knew that was an emissive texture. Okay, I like it. I'm liking it. So, do we want the emissive going that way? What? Oh, I see. So where is the emissive portion on there then? These? They don't look very emissive. That's weird. It doesn't work properly on the um, on the weapons because they got that tapered angle. 
and that's where the emissive would have been. Okay, well, whatever. It it's, doesn't work properly on that. That's fine. That's fine. Or it's just, it's one of those things where you gotta, um, which way do we want this going? Kind of looks like windows, right? That's kind of trippy. Um, Oh, the emissive turns black. Oh. Okay, so it's a colored emissive. So it doesn't stay white. See that? Okay. So by painting it black, it loses its, its emissive properties, kind of. Because black doesn't really glow very well as an emissive. <laughs> uh, but it really pops, doesn't it? I don't know if I want to do the whole thing like that, though. I think I, I think just the... Yeah, okay, so that looks pretty cool, just that, and then this, maybe on the on the rest? No, 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 this is not going to have any funky pattern to it, it's going to be... See, that works, that texturing works for the angles. And I kind of like that. I do, actually, I really like that. That's... In that yeah so we can see that's not bad so do we want this texture on the wings yeah yeah that's not so offensive yeah that looks good on the weapons too that's just their native texture. Huh. So that's the weapon's native texture. I did not know that. Okay. So we're, we're putting weapon texture on everything, apparently. That's going to be, that's going to be that lot layer. Okay, so let's, we don't need to do the middle part because we're going to be doing that with the other texture. Actually, you know what? Let's go like this the other texture is a lot smaller we're gonna go apply the whole block medium and 
we're just going to blanket this thing first with the with the uh, base texture, I'll call it, because it's the largest amount of blocks with this texture. And then the trim will just be the trim, trim texture. Well, at least that looks better than the native texture of the uh, hardened steel. Not really a huge fan of the native texture unless you're going for a stealth bomber, then you just paint it black. And it kind of kind of fits in there. Oh, they, they actually changed texture there on me when I hit them. So that is not their native texture, but they take it quite well. It actually works quite well on them. Yeah, it actually works quite well on the weapons. I like it. Okay, good. Okay. Some of the blocks I can't quite get to, but that's fine. Come on. I know you can do it. It's a problem with putting gear in before you texture and paint. Sometimes you get to pop gear out to get to those little nooks and crannies. Come on, you can do it. I'm trying to get under the cockpit. Come on, there's another one over there. Come on, come on, there you go. Come on, cockpit. Come on, come on, you can do it. What about that block? Thank you. Come on. Sometimes if you get on an extreme angle. No? Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Well, I'll have one block that doesn't take the texture. Whatever. And I'll have to look at the uh, underside too. We'll have to lift it off and do underneath. I mean, realistically, this texture's not bad. I could almost just like paint the whole freak. Whoops. I guess that's what texture it is on the uh, <laughs> concrete. It kind of looks cool. Let's uh, let's see what it looks like in black. All black. Let's kind of want to do just a complete black vehicle here. So let's see what this looks like. Actually, that's not bad. That actually kind of jumps out. Can you get in there? I'm going to have to pop my thrusters out and get in there. That sucks. And then, do we keep that going along? The I think so. I like that second texture for the trim, so we'll get that put in here. Oops, painting the base. Now this is my workspace anyway. It's gonna get all painted up and blocks will get nuked and I don't care. It's open to the environment and it's just that's that's why I built this whole platform to build stuff on SVs and eventually it'll just be a probably a landing platform which I'm not building anything anymore um, okay so let's continue on with the trim and wow we are really getting on on in time here so let's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish do the trim and paint off camera and then I'm gonna publish this um, I'm not sure what we're gonna call it yet
call it the Swamp Flyer? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what am I going to call this thing. What am I going to call this thing? I guess you guys are going to have to tell me because I don't know what to call it. It's actually really agile. It's fairly well balanced. It's actually a really one of my better machines. I'm going to have to put my RCS in too. So we're going to do that. We'll put a couple more RCS in and because there's lots of room for that. And then, uh, yeah. All right, it's, it's not that bad. It's kind of cool. It's not heinous. It's not a complete box, right? Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to leave the episode off here. Uh, we took out the defenses of the... Um, radar station. So... We should be able to go there now and start doing that mission. But I, like I say, I want to get some heavy armor before we do that. So we've got to go back up in space and see if we can get some at the trading station that we haven't been to yet. So if there is one, we might have to warp out of here and find a trading station. But until then, next episode, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day. <laughs>